This video serves as a welcome to our fully online Intermedia Algebra course for the spring of 2023. My name is Awilda Lopez and I'll be your instructor for this course. This video is going to walk you through everything that you will need to do to be on track during your first week in this course. There is a lot that goes on in the first week because we're trying to both get started with the math material as we're also trying to become um, familiar with the course structure and where things are located and um, just how to navigate the course in general. So I'm going to walk you through how to get through the first week. I do encourage you to please watch this video in its entirety. I promise to keep it brief. In fact, any video that I record um, will be important for you to watch from beginning to end for you not to miss any important information. So let's get started. This is our home page for our Canvas course and I've prepared some documents to help you become familiar with our Canvas course. This video, for instance, will be available through the link for you to watch at any time uh, right here in this link, how to navigate week one. You might want to take a moment to look at the document titled, Are You on the Right Math Path? There are different ways to get started on meeting your degree requirements by choosing the correct math course. Not all students have to take this course as part of their degree program. In fact, there are many majors that do not require algebra. So there are other options if you believe that your degree program is not going to be um, requiring advanced math. If you have any questions, speak to your academic advisor or reach out to me as early as possible. We're going to spend some time in the second menu item called Getting Started. This will take you to a link that will walk you through what is required during the first week of our course. The very first thing you'll want to do after going through the first page is to go through our course syllabus very carefully. The syllabus in a college course is the agreement between instructor and student as to the course policies, expectations, how they will be evaluated, um, what kind of um, requirements there are, and uh, it's really, really important that you become familiar with all of those policies. Um, so please spend some time on this. Don't rush through it. The link is right here in your left-hand menu. In fact, the information in the syllabus is so important that the first assignment you're going to complete is a syllabus quiz. The syllabus quiz must be completed in Canvas by Tuesday of the first week of class, which in our case is Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. That syllabus quiz can be found under the quizzes link here in your Canvas course. And you'll want to take that quiz after carefully reading through our course syllabus. It is not a graded quiz. It will not impact your score in the class. However, the purpose of the quiz is to bring your attention to some of the most important parts of the syllabus areas that students in the past have gotten confused about and we want to make sure we all start out as clear as possible. The second to do item is you will need to do a check in with our virtual math emporium using zoom. The purpose of the check in is to connect you with our virtual math emporium, which offers free tutoring for students in this class. You will probably need to set aside about five minutes, maybe five to 10 minutes for this check in. Um, it will be very quick. You'll be connected with a Math Emporium staff member who will walk you through a very brief PowerPoint presentation talking about the resources at the Math Emporium, how to access a tutor, um, and what their hours of availability are. The document link here, Math Emporium Check-In, will take you to the available hours for you to do that check-in. Um, they're only going to be available a certain number of hours during the first three days of this spring semester. So you'll want to make sure to carefully plan for when you can uh, complete this check-in. When you click on this link, it'll also take you to the Zoom link to be able to access that connection. Next, you're going to be jumping right into our online learning math system called My Math Lab. My Math Lab 
does come with an electronic access code for you to complete all of your assignments online. It also will give you access to the digital version of our textbook. You can get started in my math lab right away because every student will have a temporary 14 day access so that regardless of any delays in getting um, your financial aid or uh, money to purchase your code if you're paying out of pocket, you can get started right away. When you go into my math lab, you're going to complete a diagnostic pretest. That diagnostic pretest will not be used to affect your score in the course. It's simply for us to make sure that if you come in with any skill gaps, any topics that we feel you need to be refreshed on or that you um, will need to, in order to build uh, future math material on, we want to make sure we address those gaps as early as possible. So we want you to complete the diagnostic pretest honestly, without any help, and without the use of a calculator. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing poorly on the diagnostic test, but certainly if you do score very, very low, that might give us an incentive to um, connect with each other individually to talk about perhaps other course options or other ways to get you additional help. That diagnostic uh, pretest will be due no later than Thursday of the first week of class. So that is ample time for you to complete that. The earlier, the better. After you complete the diagnostic test, you're going to upload the work that you wrote down on paper to complete those problems. This is just for practice because in the future, as you take real tests, you will need to upload your written work um, so that I can review that as I score your test. So this time around, it's simply for you to practice with how to scan and upload the work. Even if you have a blank page with your, just your name on it because you didn't have to show any work, I want you to go through this additional step for practice. So you will scan and upload your work and you're going to do that through this assignments link here in Canvas. In fact, I'm going to click on it so you can see what it looks like. And you'll see that we have the diagnostic test work paper submission. If you were to click on that link, then you have some instructions as to how to scan and how to upload your written work. All right. And that will be due um, by Thursday night as well. Let's go back to where we left off in the getting started page and let's continue. After you complete the diagnostic pretest and upload your written work, you are going to have two homework assignments in my math lab that will be personalized to how you performed on your diagnostic test. So these two homework assignments are going to be different for every student, depending on how you answered the questions in your diagnostic test. The purpose of these two homework assignments is to start trying to fill in those knowledge gaps that you're bringing in into this course so that um, we can address them and then hopefully build on them successfully. These two additional homework assignments will be due by Sunday of the first week of class. So you'll also have to make sure that you spend time on those two assignments as early as possible. I'm going to jump on over to my math lab just to show you where those are located. You're going to go there by clicking on the My Lab and Mastering link. There are separate instructions on how to link this Canvas course with my math lab. And I'm going to save that um, as a separate video, but please watch that video and read those instructions to, um, to pair your Canvas course to your my math lab course. I've already paired my courses, so I'm going to click on the open my lab and mastering link and it'll take me straight to uh, the my math lab course. Now my menu is going to look a little different than yours because I'm in instructor mode, but what you'll see here in your menu is the diagnostic and review link. And once you click there, you'll see a link for the diagnostic pretest, and then you'll also see the link for your two personalized homework assignments. That's one way to navigate to your assignments. Another way is, um, you know, once you click on any of these, it doesn't matter which you click on, it will bring you back to this page where you can see all of your My Math Lab assignments. Um, you can filter by homework, filter by quizzes and tests, um, 
but that's just another way for you to get to uh, everything that you'll need to do in this course. All right, let's go back to Canvas and let's go back to our first week checklist. So we've done a lot already. A syllabus quiz after reading the syllabus carefully, doing your quick Math Emporium check-in through Zoom, completing your diagnostic pretest in my math lab, uploading your written work through your Canvas assignment link, and then completing your two personalized homework assignments through my math lab. Next, I want you to start working on the first module of our course. We will have a total of five modules in this course and each one will contain a certain number of sections. In our first module, we're going to start with section 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5. Now it's really, really important and I'm not going to be able to stress this enough so you'll hear me say this over and over. It's really important that we respect the learning process. Please do not try to practice concepts that you have not received instruction on. Really important that you watch the instructional videos first, that you complete your notes based on those videos so that you have a study guide before trying to practice with the topics. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch the video lectures for sections 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5. As you watch the video lectures, you're going to fill out the corresponding lecture notes. The lecture notes are documents that you're going to print and you're going to fill in the blanks as you watch the video lectures. I'm going to show you where these are located, but again, I want to stress, watch the video lectures first, complete your, your lecture notes, you're building your study guide before you attempt to complete any of your homework assignments. The lecture notes are going to be due every Sunday night. You will have lecture notes assigned to you every week, depending on which sections are assigned for that week. Similar to what you did with your diagnostic pretest written work, you're going to scan and upload your completed lecture notes and submit them to me via Canvas assignments. And again, you're going to do that weekly, every Sunday night or earlier. Now let's show you where these video lectures are located. If you um, come up here to the module one lecture resource tab, you will find the lecture note document for you to print and then you'll also find all the video lecture links so you'll see that you have a video lecture for each section as you watch these videos you're going to be completing or filling in the blanks for the lecture notes they go hand in hand so that is part of the instruction for our course all right let's go back to where we were once you've completed your lecture notes by watching the video lectures that I just showed you here in Canvas, there are going to be some additional instructional videos located within each section's homework assignment in my math lab. So again, that's the continuation of instruction. As you watch these additional video lectures, you're going to be filling out a separate document called a video organizer. The video organizer can be printed, similar to the lecture notes, but they also can be purchased um, as a bundle with your My Math Lab access code. It's up to you if you want to print them yourself or if you want to purchase the bundle where um, you're basically purchasing the pre-printed pages. Now these videos that correspond to the video organizer, again, are located in a different place. Whereas the videos for the lecture notes are right here in Canvas, the videos for the video organizer are in your My Math Lab um, homework assignments. So let's go back to My Math Lab and I'm going to click on the Module 1 link and let's click on the homework link for sections 2.3 to 2.5. So um, I had to pause and navigate to the homework assignment a little differently because I'm not in student mode, but this is what you'll see as a student for your section 2.3 homework. And you'll see that before you're able to start working on any of the homework problems, you will have no choice but to click on these video links. 
The videos, again, that are within your homework assignments correspond to the video organizer, which you're also expected to fill out as you are watching the videos. Okay, we're almost through week one. Um, whereas the lecture notes are due in Canvas every Sunday, the video organizer is not going to be due in Canvas until the Sunday that precedes um, one of our module tests. So you're only going to have five dates that your video organizer is going to be due. Each time we have a module test, you will turn in that complete video organizer for all of that module that Sunday of our test week. So again, lecture notes are due every Sunday. Video organizers are due five times throughout the semester, also on Sundays, but it'll be the Sunday of our test week. So getting here toward the end of our list for week one, now we are working on our homework assignments because we have gone through the instruction for the corresponding sections. We've watched the videos in Canvas and completed the lecture notes. We've watched additional videos in my math lab and completed the video organizer. Now you can go in and start working through your homework assignment. I will post a separate video as to how to use the tools in my math lab to continue getting help as you work through the homework problems. So please look for that video. Um, you need to complete your homework assignment with a 70% or better. Uh, so keep working, keep working, keep working until you get a 70% or better. Obviously, you can go all the way up to 100% by just being persistent and reworking the problems that you've missed. Again, I will address this in a separate video as to how to do that. But you need that 70% or higher for the homework assignments before the corresponding My Math Lab quiz will become available to you. So you will have a quiz due uh, every single week except for days that we have a test. But pretty much every week we will have a quiz due um, by Sunday night. And you can only access the quiz once the homework sections that feed into that quiz are completed with a 70% or better. There is one exception to the Sunday rule, and that is because our first week is so jam-packed with getting to know the course and having to um, complete additional assignments. Um, I am making one exception. The very first My Math Lab quiz will be due Tuesday, January 17th, as opposed to Sunday, January 15th. So you'll have a few extra days to make sure that you get through those first sections um, successfully. But aside from this very first quiz, all additional quizzes will be due by Sunday night. Please make sure to watch all of the videos that I post in their entirety. I promise that they will help you stay on the right track. It will help you have fewer questions as to how to navigate the course, and it will put you on the right learning path to learn for the long term.